Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for uh, July 26th through August 1st. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'd like to give a special shout out to Kevin Lee Ministries. He is a uh, spiritual teacher and medium. Um, absolutely amazing guy. Um, the link is below. And I'd like to give a shout out to Lunar Logic um, Tarot 1111. Uh, she's a very good friend of mine, new to the community. So if you'd like to check her out, give her a warm welcome, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and get uh, started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aries, please? Love messages, clarity, and guidance for my Aries for July 26th through the 1st. So, my loves, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. If you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Um, I do choose winners every week for free. For uh, I give away a bunch of prizes. If you go to the description box below, you'll see all the prizes and how to enter the giveaway. It's super simple. Okay, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. Okay, Aries, let's get started. Two of Cups. Ooh, that's a nice card to start with. And the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. And Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. So Aries, here's what I'm feeling. Here's what I'm feeling. We have a situation where one person here started this connection very passionately. And their feelings have started to dwindle because it took this person a long time to catch feelings. Do you see where I'm coming from here? Somebody here came into this connection giving their all immediately, whereas this person took their time to give their all. And that caused this person's feelings to temper down, to dwindle, and they just like don't care anymore. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's like, uh, you know, two different directions here. We've got the world card. And the queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the star, Aquarian energy, and the eight of swords. So I feel that this person now is not being trusted. They're being shut out. Um, they're feeling like this is really over. They're feeling like maybe they missed an opportunity because they took too long to realize the love that they had in this connection, or they took too long to come back and reconcile. This Queen of Wands here, I feel had a lot of hope for this connection. They really did. This Queen of Wands spent a lot of time stuck in their head, trying to manifest, hoping, wishing, praying that it would come together. You know what I'm saying? We've got the Two of Pentacles. And we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have the Ace of Swords and the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. So you see, this person here simply took too long, okay? They took too long because they didn't want to put their feelings out there because with that Two of Pentacles, listen, we have the Three of Swords under the deck. I'm going to be honest, this person may have been juggling, okay? This person may have been juggling, you know? Um... And this person just saw clearly that it was time to end things. You see what I'm saying? So this person came into this relationship giving their all. They gave their heart to the situation, okay? And they suffered a lot because this person was not on the same page. Now, this person feels the love and, and, and you know, wants this connection. And this person, their feelings have changed because they've given so much without getting anything in return. We have the Two of Swords, and we have the Four of Wands. Now this person 
no longer has the option of this person. Do you see what I'm saying? This person has lost the stability. This person has lost, like this queen of wands wanted to build a future with this person. Do you see what I'm saying? This, this queen of wands wanted to build a future here. And now that option is no longer available to them. They're being cut off from that option. You know, they were juggling two people. They had two options. Now one, it's like they didn't make a decision. So the queen of wands made a decision for them. We have the seven of swords, lies, cheating, deception, and the tower. Aries, Scorpionic energy. This queen of wands saw the truth for what it was that someone here was taking advantage. They were lying. They were being deceptive and the tower fell. This queen of wands saw that, you know, they were trying to build a life on a very cracked and, 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 you know, bad foundation. So it all came, it, it was all a lie. It was deceptive. You know what I'm saying? The challenge here is the justice card libra energy and the nine of swords you see so now someone here is facing their karma and it's not fun the outcome here oh we've got the five of pentacles the five of pentacles and the page of wands leo sag aries energy under the deck for the overall energy is the seven of wands someone here is being blocked someone here is pushing another person away uh someone here is trying to fight their way in okay um yeah i mean the outcome here we have somebody here that wants to communicate and they're being left out in the cold someone here is paying karma here aries okay they're paying their karma and it's not it's not fun it is not fun. Someone here simply took too long to commit. And by the time they committed, this person now sees this person as a bad seed. You see what I'm saying? They see this person as deceptive, bad, no good. They want nothing to do with the situation. And I don't know. I don't know if we can fix that. Let's see here. Tell me about the two of cups. The judgment card. Someone here wants a second chance. They want to reconcile. The knight of pentacles. <sighs> Temperance, Sagittarian energy. Someone here, I feel like they took too long to come back and ask for forgiveness. The world. Knight of swords. This person, as soon as they saw this cycle shutting, they should have rushed in. They should have rushed in to fix the problem. And because they didn't, because they didn't, now they look more guilty. You see what I'm saying? Now they look more guilty. Like a fight happened here. And instead of somebody coming in to apologize right away or coming in to talk right away, you see what I'm saying? They didn't do that. Do you understand? They didn't do that. So because of that, it made this queen of wands here turn into the queen of swords feeling like, okay, well, I mean, if you're not pursuing me to try to fix, to get me back, then obviously you're checking out other options, right? Obviously you're going to my competition because if you see me walking away and you just let this door close, right? Now I don't trust you because obviously, you know what I'm saying? You don't care if I'm here or not. You're going to talk to other people doing whatever. Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So guys, we've got the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. We have a true pair on the board. This is a soulmate connection. Two of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. But they were juggling someone here even though they felt the love. Even though they felt that soul tie, they still were undecided. King of Cups. Ace of Cups. This king, this king fell in love. Okay. They gave this Queen of Cups their heart, but they were still juggling. They were still juggling. They were still undecided. And the tower fell. The tower fell. Two of Swords. Strength card. Leo energy. Someone here pulled back. Someone here pulled back. Four of Wands. Four of Swords. Someone here really wanted, I, I feel like this Queen of Wands here or this Queen of Cups, you know, someone here really wanted to start a life here. Someone here really wanted to love. Someone here wanted to give to the connection. They really came in, you know, that Queen of Wands is a very passionate energy, right? They came in very passionate. And now with that Ten of Swords, it's just too much pain. This Queen of Wands went through too much pain before this King said, you know what? I, I love you. Too much pain. 
Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius energy. We've got the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands the, um, and the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. This is a true soul tie, guys. There's love. There's passion here. Tell me about temperance. Three of Swords. But all the pain that this Queen of Wands has experienced, it has caused... You know, I, I, I saw this saying one time and it really resonates here. It said, every time she forgives you, she loves you a little bit less. But every time she forgives you, you will love her a little bit more. So by the time she has had enough, you have now completely fallen in love with her. Do you understand? Like she has forgiven you so many times that her love for you has gone, but your love for her has gone up because she keeps forgiving you. So you love her for that, right? So, and guys, you know, take it as it resonates with gender. But do you see my point of view? One person here has just forgiven so much and put up with so much that their heart is beat to shit. Like they can't take it anymore. Like their heart is numb with temperance there. You understand what I'm saying? This person spent a lot of time with that star card and the eight of swords in their head, frustrated, you know, really having hope, star card and the uh, knight of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, giving love, giving love, giving love, page of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, being promised things, but knowing, okay, that, that eight of swords is this inner knowing or inner feeling that something is happening behind your back. Someone is cheating. Someone is talking bad behind your back. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. You see what I'm saying? But you know, so someone here is making these promises, but at the same time, this person wasn't feeling it. Ace of swords, five of pentacles. Then this queen of wands woke up one day and said, listen, it's time for me to leave this death card chariot here. Uh, Cancerian energy. Scorpionic energy, someone got in their chariot and they left. You know, this person is a player. I am a pre-empress and I have to follow my destiny. It's time for me to take off and start somewhere new and go manifest. Virgo, Gemini energy, Aries energy. You know what I'm saying? Leo, Sag, Aries energy. This, you're looking for a, a Ten of Cups here. You're looking for a real relationship. Not all this chaos. Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords on, with the Magician, Virgo, Gemini. This is a manipulator. This is someone who is very manipulative, very sneaky, taking advantage. Tell me about the tower. And you don't trust them anymore. Queen of Swords again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Queen of Swords right there. You don't trust this person. And now they're paying their karma. They are simply paying their karma. That's it. Tell me about this Justice card. Justice on top of Justice. That's karma, baby. End of discussion. Nine of Swords. Five of Cups. This person is drowning in regret. Like straight up drowning in it. Like they can't even breathe. Five of Swords and the, excuse me, the Nine of Swords and the Five. This person can't even sleep. This person might be drinking themselves to death because they just can't handle life without you. Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. You have blocked this person completely. You have blocked this person completely. You have blocked them completely and they can't take it. Page of Wands, they're trying to talk to you, can uh, Cancer. I don't know why I said some of you might be dealing with the Cancer. Aries, they're trying to talk to you. Seven of Pentacles, someone here wants to come in. They want to talk about the mistakes that they made. They want to try to talk things out. Someone here is trying to fight their way in. They're trying to communicate, but they're being left on red because here we have somebody that is just literally, you know, ran off to go start a new beginning. Someone here is tired. They, they have their walls up. They're not seeing this offer. They don't care. They're holding back because they see the truth of the situation. They see the truth of the situation here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to take this into an extended because I feel that. I just feel this energy that someone here just their feelings are gone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like one person here, their heart is full of love now. And this person, they are in so, their heart has had so much pain that it's gone numb. You see what I'm saying? It has just gone numb. Like they just, like this person doesn't care anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like they just don't care anymore. This person fell out of love. I feel like they gave a lot of love. They really tried to believe the promises, but they fell out of love. You know what I'm saying? They fell out of love. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Aries, please? Adjacent possibilities. When one door closes, a window opens. Someone here is like, 
you know, I, I, I tried, I did, I tried and it's just not working. It's time for me to go and look in other places to get what I want because I'm not getting it here. Yeah, someone here is trying to free themselves. They're like, I, I just can't do this anymore. I can't, you know, I can't do this anymore. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aries, please? Yeah, someone here is looking for new love. Someone is looking for new love because their feelings have literally, you know, you abuse something too much, you beat it to death too much, it dies. You know what I'm saying? It dies. And someone here had just went too far. A new start is coming. Someone here is moving on. They're moving on to something new. Someone here is moving on. That could be you, Aries. It could be your person. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But someone here is freeing themselves and moving towards something new. They want to be single. Someone here is optimistic that there's something better out there. They want to move on. They're manifesting. Yeah, someone has fallen out of love. They just... Intuition. Someone's intuition is telling them that this is, you know, it's just never going to change. Yeah, perception. I feel like someone's intuition is telling them to look at this relationship from a different viewpoint, okay? Like, I feel like this person has been giving love, stuck in their head, and then they turned around one day and they're like, you know what, let me just look at things for the way they are, follow my intuition, and realize that this is all a joke. It's fake. You know what I'm saying? It's fake. Someone here, you know, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving. I'm putting all of this work in. I'm trying to make this connection grow. I have forgiven. I have, you know, forgiven. I have, I've stood by this person through thick and thin. I have had faith here. You know what I'm saying? I have had faith. Every time this person hurt me, I took them back. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I just started on a clean slate. I feel like people were gossiping about this. Your friends, your family, like you may have been embarrassed by this person multiple times. And it's just someone here has been so embarrassed, so hurt, so humiliated, so degraded that they are just tired. You understand what I'm saying? Someone here is just tired and, and I feel like they have fallen out of love. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.